I have two children that have like kind of major delays. You be having your girl crying. I literally just came out of this like no money, no car, no job. Even though you are starting over that internally you are not. You are walking out of every situation with more wisdom than you were when you walked into it. You know how to do all of these things. Stop acting like you don't. Get up. Holy Spirit whispered to me, it's his dad's turn. And now do y'all think that I care? No. <laughs> Hey you guys, this is Lost and Found. If you're new, I'm Kanela. This is also Nay TV because I'm Kanela. I literally had to remake that four times. I literally continued to keep telling you guys that I was Kanela and this was this and that was that. And I'm just like, that's not the intro. Get it together. I got handy dandy iPad notes. I'm here in the flesh, you know, at my house, but via... I'm via video for y'all. Can y'all believe it? Cause in the community tab, I'll say I'm gonna take a break. I tried my hardest still to push through and show up for y'all last week. I recorded this whole like 30 minute video and I could not get out of my feelings. I'm just like, I don't like that. Like I just could, well, I'm about to talk about the same exact thing, but I just literally could not post the video. Ended up just trashing like a whole 30 minute session, chit chat talk, but we're still going to get back into it and it's okay. I am doing my literal best in the situation and just try to just, not try, I am, just trusting God more than I have trusted God in a really long time because maybe starting over is something serious. It is something serious. Like, I am, like, literally starting over for real. Like, not for fake. Him and I separated. And I, I just, when I think about it for real and I say it out loud, it's crazy to think, like, we separated from this. And we could probably both say, like, we started from square one or whatever because it's, like, I still have the home and I have the kids, but like he has the what well, he has transportation and he has himself. But um, I literally just came out of this like no money, no car, no job, but I have me and the home and I have the kids, and um, I'm gonna be thankful for what I have or whatever, and you know some debt. Came out of it this with some debts. We're gonna leave that where that's at though. And it's crazy to me. And I be talking to myself and thinking to myself just how crazy it is to start over. And I know why people don't start over. Like, first of all, it's scary. And if you were a stay at home mom like me and you essentially like were dependent upon somebody else's finances. It's a hard thing to like walk away from in your mind. It's just scary. And so it's been it's been a journey. But God has really, 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 really just reminded me like he was always there, just like how he was in the past, and he's still here now, and he's gonna take care of me and his kids, and it's just step by step, and he has really emphasized to me like how as human beings we're always in a rush to get somewhere he's not rushing to get somewhere like when the bible says worry about today literally only worry about today and also i feel like when you're when you're trusting god and also making faith moves and you you're following his instruction I think sometimes as humans, we feel like our action is supposed to be so hard. And I feel like in some circumstances, it may be a hard action for us. Or I'm not saying that we shouldn't work hard as people and give our best. But like sometimes the steps that we have to take really aren't that hard. It's just like do that one little step. God's going to make sure everything else aligns perfectly for you and he has literally just reminded me like I'm gonna do my part like just 
follow the instruction and just do your part, promise you everything is going to be smooth sailing. You're going to get what you need the day that you need it. And if you're worried because you didn't get something one day, that's not the day that you need it. And he has reminded me, <laughs> he's reminded me every single week, like literally, I'm not going to come when you want me, but I'm always on time. Like them old folks say, they're not lying to you. But this just, again, this just has been a ride that I'm thankful for. I am thankful for because I do recognize that even though I literally am kind of starting over from square one, and I am, that I did take, I took from my marriage and I also took from the experiences in life that him and I had together and I have so much more wisdom us being separated and starting over than I did before I am way more healed now than I was before I walked into marriage and so I'm really 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 thankful for those things because y'all we went through so much like I went through two and a half years of courts and all the stuff I went through with that and all the things that I heard and just how tough my skin got going through court also I have lost a car and um lost a home baby we here and I went through we went through so much together and I'm very thankful for it at the time Baby, at the time, I was livid. <laughs> I was livid. But I am thankful. We went through those things. We made it through those things. And I have so much wisdom um, and can now speak to somebody else. Like, how do you get through that? And so I thank God for putting that under my belt. I don't want to go back, but I don't want to go back. So it just, it's been it's been crazy to just realize like wow girl you're really starting over but you just kind of aren't because like internally you're not the same person you're not the same person so really you're starting over but you are ahead of where you were like four four years ago but yeah so I've been just trying to accept the fact that I that I'm like actually literally starting over and stop like looking back because I don't want to be like Lot's wife when she looked back when when the angel was like leave and then she turned into a pillar of salt no baby no baby no baby no I have found myself in the past couple of weeks like saying like man I miss what was comfortable but I'm only saying that because I recognize that day by day I'm actually walking into my new beginning and it's scary and I'm isolated and it seems I don't know if I want to say lonely or alone because I know they are different it is I feel alone I don't think I'm like lonely because I have I have my children so and I feel like being lonely is like an internal thing and along this journey I have truly recognized like God is with me. So I'm not, it's not, it ain't giving lonely. It's just giving like, well, hold on. Cause where are the people at? Like, where are the people at God? I mean, I knew I had minimum people last time, but like what I'm going through now is coming less and less. And I know that it has to because I'm changing, but yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's happened. And I, I, I did though I didn't turn to, to Lot's wife because baby I'm not a, I ain't a pillar of salt as you can see but I did start to go backwards in my mind y'all which is literally probably why I was said in my community tab like oh I'm gonna take a break because I saw me going backwards and I just I be so tired with my kids your girl wasn't fighting back like I just wasn't opening up my mouth and I was the the enemy was living. He was he was trying to creep in that oh because I just was not opening my mouth like, and that's just what was happening. And sometimes when you are going backwards mentally, you don't always know it. Or sometimes when you're stepping stepping back into what's comfortable, you don't always know it because it doesn't look like 
everything's not so evident. Like me, obviously, if y'all saw my husband up in here, y'all, it would be like, okay. And y'all know we aren't fully changed people. And y'all see us up in here. Everybody would know, like, okay. Those are like obvious things. But I was in this house and I just started getting exhausted. Didn't pick up on it at first. I'm just like, okay, I'm tired. But I had I had kind of started to come out of that tiredness. So I was like not understanding where it was coming from. I was eating healthier. I'm like, what is this? And then I started to get like irritated. Like I didn't know how to react to my kids' emotions. And I remember I was sitting on the couch one day and I stopped and I said, you are going backwards. Stop right here where you are. Like you have to figure this out. And I became aware of it and that I give credit to me going to therapy. Like I have become so much more self-aware, but even after I recognized it, why did I still keep kind of like going backwards? Because I just still wasn't opening my mouth consistently. Like I know that we are supposed to stay in our word every single day because this is an everyday battle and I was not opening my mouth speaking the truth over myself and my mind every single day and so that tiredness was just not coming up off of me and it literally took for me to get pissed off one day to be like listen devil back back up you trying to make me confused you trying to make me lose my mind and that's just not happening That's not happening. I was in my living room with my kids and I was yelling. I was yelling and I was speaking the word of God over my mind, over my body, over my heart until literally that dark cloud went about its business. And so, yeah, that's what I had to do as of like literally the other day because your girl was going backwards and I was eating everything knowing I was not hungry I mean, I was literally saying out of my mouth, like, you're not hungry, but like scarfing down cookies and anything that was in the refrigerator. I was literally just scarfing it down, feeling so disgusted because I know it was wrong. That's one of them things. Once you become like aware of something and then you do it anyway, it's like how I can't even feel like normal because you know what you're doing is wrong like gluttony is a sin and you know it you know you're not hungry stop y'all think I was stopping though no but I had pretty much told myself coming into September I had let me and these kids clear out like every bit of food and I told myself I'm like when you go into this next month I don't care how the enemy tries to fight you You better use the self-discipline that you have. You know how to eat healthy. You know the kind of foods that give you energy. You've went through this. God has already taught you this. You know how to budget and you know how to do all of these things. You know how to be organized. Stop acting like you don't. Get up. Like that's that's Sometimes that's how we have to talk to ourselves. Now, I... I'm a lot more gentle with myself than other people. Now I am. Child, I did not even start reading from the notes. We're going to just skip past that, okay? The, the My top line says starting over sucks because it does, but it's sometimes it's worth it. And don't run away from starting over just because it sucks because this will not be forever. Um, the beginning of pretty much anything sucks besides like relationships them is cute you know them is cute but honey this is not this is not that (laughs) this is not the honeymoon phase boo you guys since the last time that y'all saw me i had to miss kylan's first day of school y'all know i was distraught baby y'all know i was so up from the flow up y'all know that i cried oh my goodness i tried everything that I could to try to possibly get there because I don't have a car right now and it just it didn't pan out and I remember I was sitting at my table over there and I'm just like God I want to get there and Holy Spirit whispered to me it's his dad's turn and now do y'all think that I cared no 
I was, I literally cried. Like when I heard it, I literally cried. Surrendering Kylan to God. Y'all know that has been hard for me. But baby, I've came around the block. I've come such a long way. I remember when it was like last year and like I'm having dreams and like Holy Spirit is like, you know, you don't need to see him this much. Like you need to relinquish or just give up some of this time for the benefit of him. Yeah, I think I listened. No, it literally took me, it took me months after I literally had dreamed about it to be like, okay. And then just everything that he's just telling me, I'm not the best listener. It's very, very, very hard. As a mother, it's very hard. Like I recognize that like my son is God's child before he's mine, but it's like, I recognize that. Cause I mean, like I'm saying it now is my heart fully grasping it all the time. No. But I do recognize it and it is true. But you know, God's working on me. He's molding me. He's molding me. He's molding me. Man, man, man. So yeah, just surrendering that and surrendering like my marriage are. They're both just ghetto. They're ghetto. But I will say that the harder harder thing was surrendering Kylan. Why? Because that's like my child that I birthed out of me. And so it's just a little bit different. It's a little bit different trying to let go of what it is that you gave birth to. Yeah. I feel like I've just been rambling on, but I'm going to post this anyway because I just am. I wanted to talk about having two kids with delays. If you're new here, y'all know that my second born, Romello, um, was diagnosed with autism in 2023. And I ended up having another son chosen, chose woes, woes, aka Josiah. And he also has delays, like kind of similar, but he's his own human being for sure, his own human being. And he's nowhere near as friendly as Mellow, like at all. Just like I've said before, when it came to Romello being delayed and it, and the fact that I couldn't understand him, it was one of my hardest things. I find myself going through the same exact thing when it comes to Chosen. And it tears me up and it leaves me up praying at night sometimes. And and even to the point of fasting because I just really was like, I can't figure this out. I, I saw that there was delays because I was with them all the time. And I just thought I was going to take the same exact path for Chosen as I did for Romello. And I could just see like it wasn't working and then like stuff would just be getting in the way. And I'm just like, God, I'm confused. And Holy Spirit said to me, (laughs) they're not the same. Like stop trying to take the same path because they're not the same. And I feel like I'm kind of at this point, like in the past couple of days, like getting over a hump of and like kind of starting to see the light of something or accepting like I'm actually accepting that they're different. And I'm I'm also accepting that or realizing how much like his dad he is and what not to do like what I can't do with him because some things will mess him up because I've just recognized like obviously in my marriage I could not heal my husband and vice versa and he battles with literally the same kind of things that our son battles with as a freaking two-year-old and it, I've just realized just I've realized so much about chosen but I've also realized so much about my husband by looking at chosen and I'm like God I don't necessarily really know what path to take but I know that God is going to reveal it to me the same way that it, he revealed it to me about Melo. I say this 
I've probably never said it on here all the time, but I will probably never take the credit for how far Melo has came and just how far he's going to go in life because it's, um, it's nothing but the grace of God. It's nothing but the grace of God because y'all remember he didn't used to talk and baby, he don't want to be quiet. He don't want to be quiet. He, we're having like real actual conversations. Dude is like potty train. Oh my gosh. He's come. That's my God. That's nothing but the grace of God. And that situation does give me so much hope that I'm going to figure out what it is that is going to help chosen unlock his ability to communicate effectively and to uh, control his emotions. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to, baby, I'm going to figure it out because I'm going to spend time at the feet of God. And he going to tell me because baby, he knows all things that are hidden. We're going to, um, we're going to sit there and we're going to figure out all the things that are hidden. And so we're going to bring light to it. So my kids can be all that they were called to be. Okay. So yeah, I have two children that have like, kind of major delays and it be having a girl crying and it is a struggle and I am still hurt by it I'm not going to say that the hurt has went away I'm confused about it I am hurt about it but I recognize that if God allowed it to happen amongst my children he knew that if I continued to seek his face about it that he would help me and he will get the glory out of both of their stories and I do believe that I just was talking 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 I don't know all that I was talking about in this video I really really don't but I pray that y'all took something from this video if you don't take nothing take from this video starting over do suck but don't let the fear of starting over keep you in something that you don't need to be in or yeah if you have to start over start over you need to know that even though you are starting over that internally you are not you are walking out of every situation with more wisdom than you were when you walked into it and so it is okay that's probably the main thing that I want you to take from from this um also you know, that's the main thing that I want you to take from this oh also if you're dealing with anything there's just any sort of I guess just delay. Mm. Of course, feel how you feel, but remain hopeful that God is going to get the glory out of every situation in your life. So, yeah, I love you guys. And I thank y'all for just, you know, tuning in with me and seeing how I am and just listen to me essentially just rant on about like a random stuff that's been going on in my life since the last time that y'all saw me I really appreciate it I love when y'all comment or like dm me or, or anything like that y'all can email me or whatever y'all feel lit to do and just you know give this video a like comment subscribe join the family and I don't really know where God is taking taking us but you know I trust him I don't got nothing else. Who, what I got, who I got besides JC, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bye, y'all.